to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, but well, I tell you, a lot can happen in two weeks. Like getting mugged, they went with my phone. Like guys, they took away my phone from me. Rather, they stole the shit out of my phone. So, and I tell you, school projects have been piling up, assignments, and one of the worst thing that the world is passing through right now is the coronavirus. Corona is getting way too dangerous and it's claiming a lot of lives as we all know. So guys, stay safe out there. And guys, if you're joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. I'm Adria. And please subscribe to in the comment section down below. And if you're back with me for the second time, say welcome, welcome, cousin, because we're a family here. So today, as you can tell by, by the title, I decided to do a little story time. Uh, today is a Sunday and I'm home alone so like what's the best way of spending my time alone at home than me doing this so if you're interested in my story please keep on watching and tell me what you think at the end of this video so my story goes like this I was in form 4 I went to Tones and Girls High in Blyu and close to Tones and High School there was a boys' high, and it was called uh, mm -hmm. Wilson High School. We used to have interactive basketball training sessions. They used to come to our basketball court, and we used to go to the house. So it happens that uh, during one of those training sessions, my eyes, guys, my eyes deceived me. <laughs> I got to deceive me. It was like more of a spark, that kind of thing. You see a hunk, you know, coming out of nowhere. I've been training on the team for a while, but then this was a new phase. It transferred from another school. I, I forgot the place. And I'm not going to mention names for the sake of your privacy, guys. But this is a true story, trust me. I saw it happen like this. This guy, ha, huh, he was damn cute. He was a dark hunk, you know, the works in the every time I saw him. I just forced the instead of me having a one on one with him. I just first in and I ended up looking like a terrible person who doesn't even know what she's doing on the basketball court. So, it happened like this. I like, no, best plan to get this guy to keep on working with me. Let me just not pretend to like to be clueless about stuff. Like this, we're doing our one on one. I'm like, no, it's cool. I can still your few strings. It's fine. And that day was cut short because we ended up going away so soon because it was raining. But our following uh, training session, it was at our school, that's how I was going, and I was a day scholar, by the way. So, when he came to our school, I got a bit jealous when I saw him talking to the brothers. I'm like, okay, this guy, you know, that kind of thing. You know, girls, is how it goes. Like, I just got a little jealous. Why is he talking to other girls? Yes, he came and said hi to me, you know what? But there were other chicks on the side because our basketball court was closer to the tennis court in the volleyball court. So he, was, he knew some of the people who were playing tennis and volleyball. Yes, I got a bit jerky, but yeah, life goes on, right? That day, he wasn't my partner for the one or one on one. But at the end of the practice, we had a little session, you know what? Him showing me the ropes as he promised. Guys, when you've got a crush on someone, you tend to do crazy things. I tell you, like you do the most crazy things. But anyways, that being said, so that same weekend there was going to be a tournament at Falcon High School. College, so, other schools, you know what? Yeah, don't even remember some of them. Someone coming from Marari actually, the church heroes and stuff like that. So fair and fine, we get there and we got there late. You know, something was always pretty late with some stuff. We got there late and we found some games already in Manson. And there you are on the basketball court doing his thing. Guys, if only you'd understand. <laughs> yeah, I only saw the good part of this guy because I chose to see that. That's what happens when you have a crush. Like, even if when you've got a feeling that this guy is actually not it's like good. that. I saw the good side. Then fine, they played. When the games were over, girls, we did our part. We played, we went to the other courts and played, we played, played. And then it was time for lunch. The other girl actually literally left the other girls going to the canteen on their own. I'm like, no, I'm just going to go by myself. It was a way because I, uh, I saw him coming with his friends. I'm like, no, let me just walk alone. I didn't even have my phone there. I could, I could have been playing music, but no. Just started walking slowly, looking at me, got my bed lost. 
as fuck when it's huge it's a big place so when i was close like midway to the canteen he actually stopped me with his friend like you know what hi but where does my friend introduce me to the friend stuff like that and like you know what you seem like you've got potential yes my, I, I was on the basketball team because of a passion not because it was good but i was getting there if only i hadn't given that up but yeah it's still in me just that I don't have time it's more time consuming my like commitment right now of course so, so what happened is like no to say chatting chatting we get the uh, you get to the canteen in no time like i buy my my snakes i buy lays and and a bottle of uh, soda when i was about to leave i'm like you know what this guy i think you planned it you get you guess they're like oh shit i forgot my my wallet in the in the school bus it's in the training bag in the school bus and the and the basketball because i know the buses were parked was really fun and you know as a noble human being who's clothed and who's clutching on him i actually literally took back the sword i'm like not with the change i have in the money that's left you can actually buy whatever you want and then he does that he's like thank you i'm gonna reimburse you and i'm like no it's fine you don't have to do that and guys that was my last money pocket money for food but I did that. That was so stupid. Ah, uh, okay. On our way back, you know what, guy is unbelievable. He meets one of those chick from another school. Apparently, they knew each other. He gives her the stuff that I bought. Uh, bought for him with my money. But now I just calm myself. Like, you know what? Don't embarrass yourself. Don't do anything stupid. Don't even ask. You gave him willingly. So it's his property and he can do whatever he wants with it. That's what I told uh I told myself. So when he got uh when he got back, you know, the closing remarks and stuff that go down and we had to go back. But one thing I realized we we had to go back with the guys because apparently something happened to the air transport, so we had to go back in the same bus as them. And trust me, it was the longest journey ever. And my teammates actually noticed that. They actually, they actually noticed that uh, I was crushing on this guy. And they started you know, teasing me, singing uh, funny songs, you know, creating some funny, funny songs that included me and the guy. I won't even mention the name, guys. But it so happened. Yeah, it became to get more fun but one thing in no time actually in no time he ended up asking me out you know like just trying to play hard to get you know so i was excited i just like no that's fine so i guess we're not boyfriend and girlfriend that was on a, uh that was only a monday yeah after the, the tournament was the previous weekend monday tuesday we meet after school we actually work together blah 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 and then Wednesday, little did I know that this guy had a girlfriend from another fancy school. I was at a government school. I had a girlfriend from another fancy school. I'm like, what? And there was another chick who was a boarder at, at my school. And she was a level higher than me. I'm like, this guy really. But I just kept quiet. I'm like, you know what? everything my high hopes everything that i was just imagining in my head doesn't exist guys so the other chick uh the other uh boarders were telling me you know what uh this guy's girlfriend wants to talk to you i'm like ah no they're gonna kill me so i spent the whole week dodging her and uh i i never found out that she just wanted to talk and tell me that this guy is more like a jerk he's got more than one girlfriend that she actually knows that she's a child, side chick okay weird situation that us girls get ourselves into and i'm like no i didn't sign up for that so it's better it was only like two days old so there's no harm in just walking away and just starting on a uh, fresh with somewhere else but guys the motto of this lesson is that never get your crush or, or never do anything to entice him to lure him to you if it's gonna be naturally yes but do not uh do not come up with tricks 
just to for the guy to ask you out because you would do that he literally used me i can't say he used me that much because i wanted to because i actually loved this guy much blame is to me but guys if you date your crush you will get crushed and that's not it's 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 fine if you're lucky the lucky type you know what you dated you dating your crush and you actually you know build a, a strong relationship from that congratulations but if if you're unlucky like me from you get crushed stay away from dating your crush a crush is like candy you know it's only nice the moment you start touching it becomes sticky you feel so it's better you just you know enjoy the eye candy and stay away from touching it because you end up regretting it so guys this was my story today so tell me in the comment section down below if you can relate to the story or if you have someone who has experienced that tell me what you think and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe share and guys stay indoors please stay yourself and continue praying to God because God is the only person who can actually save us from this pandemic. So, see you in my next video, guys. Bye.